Hello everyone, this is Madasir Ali and in this video we will be looking at the very basics of Calculate. And to understand the Calculate, it is necessary to have the concept of row context and filter context cleared in your mind um, before you embark on creating good Power BI reports. Many people struggle with Calculate and we have received some some requests from our members to explain Calculate in simple terms. So in this video, I'll try to do this and hopefully I'll succeed in that. So let's jump into, into the Power BI. For, for, for the purpose of this video, I have used a very simple data set to make it easier for, for everybody to understand. So if I go to table view, we can see that we have products we have quantity and we have unit price. And there is another dimension table we have that contains only the product's name. If we go to the relationship and to our, our, our model, we can see that we have dimension product uh, linked to our fact table in a many to one relationship. Uh, now to understand this, what we have to do, we have to go to Excel first, and this is the same data, data set that, I, that I'm using in, in the Power BI report. So what is the row context basically? Uh, we have uh, been hearing a lot that the row context means to iterate row by row, right? So what does that mean? In, in Excel, it is simple. For example, if I want to calculate in Excel now, what I will do, I will just go to this cell and multiply this cell to get the sales. Now this is our total sales. Uh, but how do we do it? Do the same calculation in Power BI? Because we are iterating row by row, we have to use iterators in Power BI and there are the list of iterators and mostly the iterators end with x for example if we have some function in power bi so the iterator would be some x if we have average function in power uh, power bi the iterator would be average x so let's go and try to do this calculation in power bi So to achieve the same type of calculation, what we have to do, we have to type some X. Then it says you have to select the column and the column is fact table where our data is stored. So I will say fact table. And now as we have used some X, we can iterate row by row like this we will first uh, get the quantity column and we will uh, force Power BI to multiply this cell to this cell to get the total sales of this row. So I will type quantity multiply by unit price. Hit enter. And now we have got our sales. And the second thing we have to look at is the our filter context. So we will go again in, in Excel and we will look at the definition of calculate first to understand the filter context. So what does calculate mean? Calculate means modifying the filter context applied to an expression. First, we will see what does modifying the filter context mean. And secondly, we will see what is an expression. So modifying the filter context in simple terms means changing the filter context or changing the filters in your report. How do we change the filters in, in Excel? We just click on it. For example, if I want to see the sales 
of product A only, I will click A and click OK. Now I have got the sales of product A. So what we have done, we have changed the filter context applied to this expression called sales, right? If I remove the filters, we will get the sales of all the products. And now we are getting the sales of all the products, right? Uh, it is so easy to uh, do this calculation in Excel, but in Power BI, to do this type of calculation, you have to use Calculate. Calculate activates the filter context. As it says here, it modifies the filter context. So basically it activates and allow you to modify the filter context. So we will go in Power BI and we will try to get the same result as we have got here in Excel. I will create another measure and I will call it as sales filter, filter context, or maybe sales, product A. You have to write calculate first, and now you have to write the expression, and the expression is sales. Now I will write sales, comma, now here we will try to activate the filters or modify the filter context. To modify the filter context, what we have to do, we have to select this column first, products, which is here, comma, and now we have to specify that from this column, we only need the sales related to product A. So basically it is the same type of calculation we do with sum ifs. So if we go here, we will write uh, products. I'm sorry, here we have to select the table. Products equals to A. Now we can see we have the sales of, of for only product A that is 6,520. Uh, if I change the format of this one. So basically this is the filter context. But we can argue that uh, the same type of calculation can also be achieved in another way, right? So this sum if that we use in Excel, we can also use or also do the sum if type calculation in another way apart from calculate. And how can we do that? We have to create another measure. We have to write uh, sales product A version two. Now here what we are going to do, we are going to use sum x. We will use sum x. So first uh, we just applied the filter uh, like, like this, but now we want to do, we want to iterate row by row and check whenever we uh, find product A, we want the sales of that product in a particular row. If I write sum x, and after sum x, you can see we have to specify the table. The table is our fact table. But if I do this, I won't be able to apply the filter in here. So to apply the filter, what we have to do, we have to write filter. Filter is also an, is, is another iterator which allow us to iterate row by row. So first we will type products, so, sorry, fact table. And in fact table, we want to see, check every product and want to get the rows that are related to product A only. 
now we have to specify the expression and the expression is sales if i bring in this measure now we can see we have the same result with some x also then then you can ask uh, one question then why do we need calculate at all so calculate does more than we have seen so far so for example if i want to do another calculation here if i want to get the percentage sales so to get the percentage sales what i have to do i have to write one formula equals to select this cell divided by the total sales and i will lock this cell see now if i click ok enter 100 percent so this is really easy to get uh, this type of calculation in excel so if i change the filters a only so we can see that four percent three percent and four percent right so but but to do this type of calculation in power bi you can only do this with the help of calculate so if i go to key measures uh, and if i click new measure and i will say all sales i will type calculate measure and to lock the cells as we did over here we locked this cell or what we did we removed the filter context so uh, whenever we filter the report the filter context should not change and we can only do this with the help of O if I click enter And if I bring in all sales, you can see it removed the filters from this measure with the help of all. Now, now we can get our percentage sales pretty easily. We will create another measure. We will say percentage sales. We will use divide. we divided this sales to this total sales and this total sales uh, has been calculated with the help of calculate and i named it as all sales so i am dividing this sales by our total sales hit enter now now you can see we have the total percentage sales in here so product a is the 10 percentage of the total product sales uh, but calc there is another main function of calculate which is the time intelligence calculation because if you want to do time intelligence calculation you have to use calculate to activate those functions there are many videos related to time intelligence functions in Edna channel. You can now go and totally check it out. I hope I managed to explain it in, in, in simple words. And um, if you want to see this type of content more, then you can go ahead and tell us in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise dna tv channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use power bi and the power platform lastly check out enterprise dna's website plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily 
All the best. Take care.